it was just my job, you know, it was just because I was already a Burns I was already a uh, member of the Ladies Burns Club, past president, and um, it was just for me. And it, all it has done is really, not all it has done, what it has done is enhanced my knowledge and love of Burns being here for the last 20 years as manager. It's wonderful. I mean, I admire academics of Burns, but I'm not an academic of Burns. I'm just an enthusiast. I'm not an expert either. I'm an enthusiast and passionate and I think that's what you need to hear at Burns Supper is the passion. So the haggis is here that's been piped in. Can I stand up? Yeah, right. Fair fall, your honest sonsy face. Great chieftain o' oh, the pudding race. Aboon them maw, you tack your place, paint, tripe or thern. Will you or they o' grace as langs my air? The groaning trencher there ye fill, your herd is like a distant hill. Your peen would help to mend a mill in time on eat, and through your pores the juice distill like amber peat. This knife, see rustic labour dicht, and cut ye up with any slick, trenching your gushing entrails, brick like only ditch, and then, oh, what a glorious sift! One reeking, rich. Then horn for horn they stretch and strand. Deal take the hindmost on the drive, till all my wheel swelt kites be live and bent like drums, and all good man they like to drive. Be thank it, Hums. Is there for all his French ragout, or oleo that store suit, or fricassee that might be spewed with perfect scunner, looks doon with sneering scorn for you on sick a dinner? Poor devil. See him out of his trash, as feckless as a withered rash, his spindle shank, his good whip lash, his leave in it, through bloody flood or field to dash, oh how unfit. But mark, the rustic haggis fed, the trembling earth resound his tread, clapped in his wally neve a blade, he'll make it whistle, and legs and arms and heats will stead, like taps of thistle. Ye powers, why well, mark mankind your care, and dish them out the bill of fare? Old Scotland wants nae skin can wear that japs and luggies. But if you wish a grateful prayer, he her a haggis. There's Kate sitting at home nursing her wrath to keep it warm and not very happy because her husband's gone to the pub. Tam. And there he is in the pub, sitting drinking with his droopy cronies, getting foo and unca happy, putting the world to rights as you do. And they've got to put him on his poor horse, and his horse is there, waiting for him, looking at him again. The look on his face is amazing. They say, as if to say, I've got to get him home again. You know, I'm getting home. So on the way home, there's thunder, there's lightning, there's flashes everywhere, and he's a bit dubious and looking round about him, and he sees Kirk Alloway in a breeze. So all lit up, so he goes and has a wee peek through the window, and as he looks through the window, there's old Nick himself playing the pipes, coughing, standing round like open presses, and on each of the bodies stands, and cold hands stands a licked, and there's horror about an awful things on the on the counter, but there's dancing, and there's mirth and dancing, and everybody waking and shooking each other around, and there's this girl in her cutty sack comes up a leg and he forgets himself and shouts out, Well done, cutty sack! And in an instant, all with that, and they see him. So they start to rally and chase him out. They're jumping out windows, he's getting on his horse. Come on, Meg, make the key sting on the brig. Because he kens the canny cross water. And as he goes across the old brig, doing the last witch jumps and grabs the horse's tail and leaves the horse with just a stump. And poor wee Maggie, nae tail. So fair to drink your inclined and cut his saps run in your mind. Don't forget the joys our dear. Remember Tam O'Shanter's mare. The best and most members I've ever heard is from wee miners or something like that. They haven't got a note in front of them and they stand there and do it from the heart. And uh, it shouldn't be too long because people have only got a certain attention span and um, that it can be marvellous. But they need to keep you there, they need to keep you engaged. And it is a difficult one to get right. And this is why I found with my one with the jean armour. It's a tail and we need dressing up in front of them. I start off normal. I don't take clothes off, I put clothes on. <laughs> so I'm there and I get my wee hat on and my shawl and I'm suddenly I'm transfixed and suddenly I'm jean and it tends to hold them for the 20 minutes that I, I perform it. When I reply, I have to get the last word in and it's pretty good. But I usually come in with something nice about the women in Burns life and about Burns being a romantic. 
and I always try and recite the last couple of verses in anything I do because it is my favourite love poem. Uh, by night, by day, I feel that tame. The thoughts of thee, my breast in flame. And I, I muse and sing thy name. I only live to love thee. Though I were doomed to wander on beyond the sea, beyond the sun, till my last weary sand was run, till then, and then, I love thee. It's like a wow. There's not a drink involved in burn suppers. There's never been a dry one yet, don't think. Um, and of course they have to have their intervals. And then when you come back, you maybe get someone singing or you've got to give people a chance to stop laughing and because your cheeks get sore from hopefully from the man before me and then I would go up or someone would go up and reply on behalf of the last. But we lassies love you laddies. Be you a kind prince or a stinking rat. For in the words of a reindeer rabbi, a man's a man for all that. <laughs>